So if you want to find out the best value hotel out of 3,571 hotels in Hanoi, look no further. Let's go! So today we'll be reviewing La Siesta Premium Do take note, it's a boutique chain hotel with many other La Siesta's version But we'll be reviewing La Siesta Premium And how to differentiate it, the La Siesta Premium is located along Hang Bi Street Hang <laughs> So La Siesta Premium is a 3-star hotel, luxury chain boutique hotel which is across Hanoi, Vietnam. And this hotel review might be slightly different because we'll be reviewing two types of room and you will find out in a later part of this video. So if you're interested, do watch on. So without further ado, let's begin this hotel review. So let's begin the first room of the two rooms that we will be reviewing at La Siesta Premium which is the Deluxe Room. So first off to begin as you step into the room, on your right will be the wardrobe and it has this rattan design and right inside is the usual stuff. Lah. There's a bathrobe, a couple of hangers, about 6-7 of them, laundry bag, hair dryer and laundry is relatively expensive because it's charged per piece. And right below it's the safe and bedroom slippers but the bedroom slippers is like a rubber kind not the cloth or cotton one opposite the wardrobe itself there is a almost full length mirror because it stops at the knee there and literally right beside the wardrobe itself there is the vanity area ish so the wash basin is over here two cups a couple of snacks here two small hand towels and a bar of soap and this wash basin area acts up as a amenities corner as well because the mini fridge is right over there and everything inside is chargeable so right below the wash basin area that is the amenities for La Siesta over here. So there are a couple of things like your toothbrush, toothpaste, razor kit, comb, cotton bud, shower cap. So the top is actually marble with a mirror over here. There's kettle cups and a few instant bags of coffee and tea. There's also a plug and it's good because it accepts 3 pin plug with 2 USB ports. I really appreciate this because it's like literally one thing lesser you need to bring to travel. Over there there's a box of tissue with table drawers which is empty and a seat which has a similar concept as the wardrobe. Yeah, over on the sleeping area itself, it's a king size bed with two bedside tables and two bedside lamps, one with a telephone, one with a clock and both have a bottle of water and it's glass, not plastic, so very environmentally friendly. Good job. And on the king bed itself, there's four pillows with a hanging pendant over there and three frames of old Hanoi. And the funny thing I've realized about this hotel is that the TV is not actually on the front of the bed, it's on the side of the bed. <laughs> so when you watch TV, it will be like that. Yeah, and the TV, it's a Samsung TV, so screen mirroring is possible. And it's also possible to put HDMI because there's three HDMI slots. Over on this side is a collapsible luggage holder for you to put your luggage. And the second last part of this hotel is there is a very, very mini balcony. It's only like two tiles and one quarter. It has day curtains and blackout curtains as well. And moving on to the last part of the room, which is the toilet. The toilet itself is very, very small. It's only the bathing area and the shitting area because the wash basin is on the outside over there. So the shitting area wise, I would say it's relatively spacious. There's a bidet over there with a rubbish bin. And the overall theme of this hotel, it's a uh, black monochrome-ish and the black tiles, I really love it. Two tiles on the top, another toilet roll over there and a small window over here that you can look at your partner when you are taking a shit. Moving on to the bathing area. The bathing area is so much more spacious. There's a bar over here if you need to hang and bathe. There's a hand shower over there and a rain shower with three small bottles of soap. Very, very tiny. And there's no door for the shower area. So if you are taking a bath, high chance water will probably spill out. And yeah, so that basically wraps up the room tour of La Siesta Premium Deluxe Room. So this is one of the rooms that we'll be reviewing and we will review another room tomorrow, which you can check it out in a later part of this video. But before going on to that room, we will talk about the surrounding amenities and the facilities of this hotel. Let's also talk a little bit about the room info. The room is deluxe room of La Siesta Premium. So do take note there are a couple of La Siestas like here it is. I can't remember all the names. So we are staying at La Siesta Premium which is the most atas one. So more about the room info itself. The room size is 25 square meters and it costs a total of 100 sing dollars. Do take note it's on a Friday night and we actually just booked this this morning. So it's 
super duper last minute. However, we booked this hotel room through a very unconventional route, but if you have watched our other Vietnam series, you should have known because we booked this through Facebook. We didn't book it through agodatrip.com or even the website because it's exceptionally more expensive last year star's website it states 180 usd agodatrip.com states 146 dollars so we got the cheapest of all options and yeah like i mentioned we did book this this morning so rose actually checked through agoda and it says the exact room was sold out so hmm? So let's begin the second room tour of La Siesta Premium to Black Suite. Let's go! As you step into the room itself, you're immediately greeted by this area of tiles on, on the right there is the wardrobe. Wardrobe wise, very similar to the deluxe room. It basically has the same amount of things, the ropes, the hanger, the hair dryer, the safe, the laundry bag. However, it's not rattan design, it's the mirror design. But I would like to add that it's a lot more spacious. So over here, there's a very large area with a full height mirror or oh, it's more than full height it's, it's like full height. it's like two level mirror so it's a very very high mirror and right on the left itself is the stairs to the second level which leads to the bed and also your luggage area to put your luggage as you move further in towards the room on the left is the toilet or shitting area and on the right is the bathing area no rain shower but there's a top shower over there and a hand shower over there same concept with black towels however the bathing area looks a lot smaller compared to the deluxe room it's like half the size and over on the left the shitting area looks very very dark this is bigger than the deluxe room there's also a bidet over there and an extra toilet roll moving further into the end of the first level over on the left hand side is the wash basin everything is the same definitely a lot more spacious compared to the deluxe room there's also a weighing scale underneath at the bottom with the two towels and two hand towels over there opposite of the wash basin is the mini bar area and you see it looks damn at Cool. Wine glass over there, got coffee machine, instant coffee, the snacks over there. Then right below here is the mini fridge. So the same amount of things with the bottles of water, beer and coke, which all have to be paid. Over on the side of the mini bar, there's the study area, there's a table, mat and same plug with two USB and a tissue box. There's also a chair with a very nice view. Over on the left hand side is another bathing area, which is the bathtub and yeah the bathtub area is actually outside there's no glass window over there but there's these outdoor blinds for you to prevent the rain from coming in or also a privacy but i'm not too sure if it's at night outside it's dark inside it's light don't know whether people can look in i don't trust them but yeah it's just a bath area over here and this bath area is very very huge Zoo. Yeah, bye. <laughs> So the next thing that I forgot to add over on the first level of this living area is actually double volume. So it's a very high ceiling and it feels a lot more spacious. Almost full height windows, very very large, brings in a lot of natural light. And moving on to the second level. And as you get up there, you'll be immediately greeted by a king size bed with two bedside tables, two lamps and two bottles of water with one telephone and one clock. Four pillows, three frames, very similar to the deluxe room. However, this time the TV is directly opposite you. <laughs> and not on the left. It's a Samsung TV as well, HDMI is possible, screen mirroring is possible as well. There's also a rocking chair over here, which kind of creeps me out. So if too much, if I wake up and I see it moving, I'm going to jump down. Hanging chandelier here, aircon's over here. It's actually very, very low. And moving on to the last part of this room, it's the last balcony. I would say it's still not very big, but bigger than the deluxe room and bigger than the one on level one. It overlooks uh, nothing. You can't see it right now because it's overexposed, but basically there's another taller building a few blocks away. So it's kind of blocking our view, but the best view is still over on that side. So yeah, as for the flooring itself, it's timber laminate and the second level feels solid. Doesn't feel like it's creaking or shaking or breaking. The railings are also very, very solid. So yeah, this is about it for the entire duplex suite room tour. So we're just talking a little bit about the room info. We are staying at the premium duplex suite and the room size is 45 square meters. The total cost of this on the website states available from 400 USD. But all in all, we only paid 165 SGD. So earlier on in the video, we mentioned that if you purchase from the Facebook Messenger directly, it's a lot cheaper 
cheaper than compared from getting the website or from other third parties. So apart from that, the room has two levels and it also has a gym which is actually from another outlet of last year's star. So we'll be checking it out tomorrow as well as the breakfast. So do stay tuned for that. So other info about this hotel itself, it has a total of 60 rooms. It also has a spa and a restaurant as well as the sky bar on the highest level of the building, which is level 10. So talking a little bit about the surrounding amenities of La Siesta Premium, it's only a two minutes walk away from Huan Kiam Lake, four minutes away from the ever famous Beer Street, and the nearest convenience store that I can find physically and on Google Maps is uh, Circle K, which is just a four minutes walk away. So I would say the location of it is really, really great. But like I said, this is something special about this luxury boutique hotel. It actually has in-room dining. So actually, most of the boutique hotels that we've been to do not have any forms of in-room dining, but here at La Siesta Premium, it has. So. Now we're going to test its speed, but before that, I'm going to tell you roughly what they have on the menu. So for the in-room dining menu, it has a couple of snacks from garlic bread, french fries, cheese sticks. And then from the main menu itself, there's fried rice, fried noodles, spaghetti, soups, and other salads as well. Main course, it has tiger prawn in Singapore chili sauce. Big seafood with cheese, pan sear, sea bass. All sounds very, very nice. However, it looks kind of pricey. For the snacks wise, it ranges from 100k to 130k. And for the main course itself, like let's say the tiger prawn in Singapore chili sauce is 320,000. Today, we are only gonna order french fries, which is a total cost of 100,000. Can I order just one french fries? Thank you, bye bye. So we just started the timer and she actually said it will only take about 10 minutes. Let's see how long it actually takes. So all in all, it took 14 minutes and 53 seconds, longer than what she mentioned, which is uh, 10 minutes. So over promised. <laughs> the smell of the fry is quite good. Wow, crunch space. Hey, not bad. Could use a little bit more salt, but the fries is really, really nice. So yeah, for dinner, we're just going to order in because we are too lazy to go out. So see you guys tomorrow morning because we'll be checking out the breakfast and the gym, which is another building. Bye. What's up guys? So I just finally reached the gym and it was about a less than three minutes walk. So the gym wise, uh, no new, a couple of treadmill and jogging machines, weights up to 20 kg and there's a cable machine and corner. Water is provided as well as a couple of towels. The gym is like a 6.10. It feels very claustrophobic and very, very dark. But uh, I mean, I will still get a workout done and I see what I can do. So yeah, good. gonna check out the breakfast it's at level nice it's a buffet breakfast okay one thing that i don't like about this hotel is that there's only one lift so whenever we take the lift we have to wait like them freaking long peak hours there'll be a lot of people waiting downstairs and it gets very crowded morning appearance <laughs> So we just finished breakfast and overall breakfast was uh, I would say like 8.5 upon 10 really not bad however the some of the foods were cold and the bacon was a little bit chewy however the rest of the food was really really nice I would say it's a decent breakfast uh, however the good point is they actually have dessert and I mean not so many hotels that have buffet breakfast with this dessert so I really appreciate it so yeah you also do get a really good view of the outside so breakfast must try i mean it's free with the room now so just get it okay what's up guys so we have come to the end of this hotel review we're gonna do a very quick one because we are in a rush so overall i personally feel that the hotel is really really nice very, very clean the location is really one of the best few hotels that we have ever been to just one thing is the lift itself it's only one lift so very tough it gets very annoying sometimes when you have to wait too long and then the second thing, the duplex itself. Yes, it may look very, very nice, but I would say it's not very user-friendly in a way. So first thing, the lights, you don't know which light on which light. And the bathtub is very far away from the actual shower itself. What about you? Yeah, I agree with all that mentioned. So for me, I will just give a quick point. So it will be an 8 out of 10. I would say it's an 8 upon 10 as well. Will I recommend this hotel to my friends? 
Yes, I will. So yeah, that's our two cents of La Siesta Premium Hotel. So do remember, take note again, there's a lot of other La Siestas. So yeah, this is the end of this video. So if you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Like me, yo. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>